Kenny the Leprechaun, the hobo winemaker, guy who makes the folk machine wines, has a white wine that we felt like talking about. It's got vehicles on it. Piaggio Ape. Ape, or ape if you're not into pronouncing things. They're like auto rickshaws. If you go to like Wikipedia, it'll say like ape van. Ape van. I don't want to get in the ape van. The grape is 100% Friulano, uh, which is an Italian grape, but it's from Mendocino County in California. Between the nose and what it tastes like, I feel that it's perfectly in between a Sauvignon Blanc and a Pinot Grigio. It's very Sauv Blanc-esque, that's for sure. Yup. The Friulano, another term for it is Sauvignon Vert, which is to say... Green. It's very light-bodied. It's crisp and it's clean. Lemon is the predominant takeaway for me with a little bit of peach juice behind it. And as you get deeper into it, maybe some pear sort of holding that all together is the wet stone thing. This is New World wine and I won't say yes, it's got minerality because I don't feel like I just licked a stone. I don't have saltiness no. going on in here. Actually, after drinking a bunch of it, it's very clean. Yeah. It's like a palate cleanser almost. You can transfer the grape from one place to another, but you cannot transfer the place. You can put the grape in your ape van and transfer it, but it just goes to show you how much climate it's grown and affects how it is. Yeah. So it's an old world grape for a new world ape. <laughs> Probably my favorite thing about this wine is uh, the finish. I don't really know how to describe it. However, this guy apparently does. I think it tastes like circus peanuts. That crappy candy that perhaps you've had at some point in your life. They're not quite marshmallows. They're definitely not peanuts, but they're all fluffy and weird. They come in those big bags. There it's bizarre. It. It's not unprecedented. We have seen it used to describe wines before. Because all in all, aren't we all just trying to share the electronic impulses in our brain and distill them into a meaningful shared symbol so the other person can understand the thing going on in your head? It's really light and well, it's not, yeah, very zippy and crisp and everything, but it kind of makes me think about a monkey going on a vacation. So I'm going to go ahead and give this three and a half grape ape escapes out of five. It's supposed to be an ape, but you know, it's just ape, Thorns ape. Because so. we're American, it's yeah, an ape. It's an ape. So just imagine an orangutan, his arms are hanging out both the windows, and he's driving it. Yep. He's got a little, like, captain's hat on or something, and I would say some sort of, you know, like, you know, he'd be dressed like the, the like a milkman or like the Maytag repairman or whatever, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. You know, and just, his arms are hanging out the window, and he's driving this jaunty little, and it's swerving all over the place because he's an ape, and everyone's... No one's mad. He drives past, and there's like a homeless guy with a paper bag. He's taking a drink, and he drops it. And then he looks at what he's drinking, you know. Like, what am I drinking? Because an ape just drove by in an ape van. And obviously that's not real. Maybe some guys are walking a pane of glass across the street, and the ape goes right through it. You know. Yeah. That's what goes on in my head. We're going to pair this with an album that's got a song called Ape Man, and it's a pretty classic <coughs> record from 1970. The Kinks, you've never heard of them. The album, it's called Lola. You've definitely never heard Lola. No. Lola versus um, Power Man and The Money Go Round. And there is also an Ape Man involved in there somewhere. <laughs>